damage because of this one moment here at the mall in the middle of the day. Mm. Matthew, thank you. Today, the two women accused in the death of eight-year-old Martonio Wilder appeared in court. His mother, LaShonda Wilder, and her girlfriend, Jonna Lowe, both facing murder charges. And we're learning new disturbing details in this case. Thanks for joining us on NBC4 at 5. I'm Kyle Beachy in for Jared. And I'm Jennifer Bullock. Let's go live to NBC4's Anna Hoffman at the Franklin County Courthouse. So, Anna, what happened in that courtroom today? Yeah, Jen and Kyle, disturbing is right. Today in court, records revealed a history of the two women abusing the eight-year-old. According to Martonio's family members, he tried to tell people of authority about the abuse and nothing was done about it. What's his favorite word? I, I love, love you. you. That literally, it literally that is. I love you. Every like time. The people Emotions fill the courtroom as new details are revealed about the death of eight-year-old Martonio Wilder and the abuse that led up to it. Ms. Wilder admits to locking Martonio in the cell inside a small coat closet where they slept at night so they could not sneak out for food. Martonio's mother, LaShonda Wilder, locking them in a small coat closet so they couldn't sneak out for food. God, these women are evil, man. The worst stories for real. Jesus Christ. Miss Wilder admits to locking Martonio in the cell inside a small coat closet where they slept at night so they could not sneak out for food. Martonio's mother, LaShonda Wilder, and her girlfriend, Jonna Lowe, are both charged with murder, felonious assault, and danger. They both looking hard. They both looking tough. They know they're going to get a bond or some short sentence or something. They both look bored. They, they look like they look bored, like they got somewhere to go. <laughs> like they hold, like this is, this is, all this is holding them up for what they had planned for the day and shit children and other charges. According to the coroner, Martonio's cause of death is ruled to be compression of the neck and also malnutrition. When I touched him, it was like, it was nothing there. It was just bones. And listen, man, I know these two women are savages too because they probably, they knew what was going on all eight years. They knew all what was going on. But it's hard to interfere with people kids you know what i'm saying it's hard to interfere with parents man it's hard to you know make that intercession man when you especially when look at these broads man these some tough looking broads man you know what i'm saying But yeah, people people will sit by and watch for eight years and not do nothing and then get on the news and be talking crazy on the news, trying to go viral on the news. Worst stewards, man. Hit the like button, man. How many likes we got, man? Let me see how many likes we got, man. Um, let me see how many likes we got. Hey, hey, all right, that, right. that video you put up with the uh, sister and the cops, mm -hmm. man, that shit was crazy. I, I don't, I don't know what was funny and cheap. The the shit she was saying, or the shit Jaden and Mike were saying when you started Who? arguing. Well, Jaden and uh, Mike, right? That's his name. Oh yeah, yeah. When they started arguing, that shit was funny. I mean, look, it's all right, man. It's DNA, no big deal, but. Think about think about like, the sister earlier, right? Where they, he threw her in a suitcase after choking her out, right? Mm -hmm. He wishes the cops would up and smoked his ass. So we could hear her complain about why they smoked his ass. Yep. First person players, man, with low IQ, man. Let's get the likes up, man. We got 194 likes. We an hour and a half into the show, man. Uh, we ain't even broke 200 likes yet. That's the same. Yikes. That's crazy, man. Um, I used to didn't even start the show till we got 200 likes. So malnutrition. When I touched him, it was like, 
It was nothing there. It was just bones. In court Wednesday, the prosecuting attorney says both women also admitted to beating Martonio with an extension cord two days before his body was found in a trash bag in the attic. But she hid this from us. Whatever. Stop it. Stop it. I don't believe that for half a second, that they didn't know what was going on all eight years. I don't believe for one second. Press one if you believe for one second that they didn't know what was going on. I mean, them, them being the worst stewards, doesn't it make it plausible? Maybe? That they were just so I don't oblivious? Believe, listen. I don't believe for one second that they didn't know what was going on the entire time. I'm not talking about they found out or they just realized what they knew what was going on the entire It's hard to interfere with other people, kids. These chicks probably don't want nobody interfering with them and their kids. And plus, you know what I'm saying? The community is so dysfunctional that barbarity and degeneracy is seen on a different is seen through a different lens it's not seen through the same lens as, as it would everywhere else like they could bring that boy to a cookout beat up and ribs showing and ain't nobody and, and these chicks are just whisper behind their back Girl, you see that? You see, you see Mark Wavis? Girl, he looked like he ain't eating. Mm -mm -mm. I went over her house the other day. It was a mess. Oh, a rat scurried right across the floor while I was over there. Mm -hmm. Girl, I'm telling you, girl, she asked me for some food stamps the other day. I was like, I ain't got it. I said, maybe when I get my new stamps, but I ain't got it right now. Girl, I don't know what's up with her. They're talking behind her back. For eight years and won't do nothing, and then get in front of the news and be like, <laughs> get in front of the news and be like, uh, yeah, um, I can't believe, I can't believe it that be man. Loot the LRLRS, man. Crazy, man. She hid this from us. There's a lot of stuff that we did not know. Martonio's great aunt and cousin say they did all they could to help the boy. I really, really, really. Who believes that? Do you understand how many resources there are in America to help the boy? This ain't the jungle, man. You got a plethora of resources to help the boy in America. And y'all saying y'all did all y'all could. And he They're lying. Did. They're lying. They could have called Dyfus. They could have called uh, so many different things. CPS, the police. They could have said, baby, I'll take the boy. I'll take him. Y'all ain't, y'all don't, I'll take him. You just go ahead. You ain't got to give me nothing. I'll just take him. They, they did all. All they could. Martonio's great aunt and cousin say they did all they could to help the boy. I really, really, really blame. I blame them because they did the physical stuff. But I blame the court system and everybody. <laughs> you were there witness to everything front and center for eight years and you blame the court system. Somebody got to get fired. Yeah, somebody got to get fired. She wants somebody to lose their job. These are, t these are horrendous people. These are not just bad people. Okay? Bad people are here. These people are horrible. And listen, like I said, 
I understand to a degree. Like if somebody came over here and was trying to tell me how to raise my daughter, we ain't gonna be friends no more, man. You know what I'm saying? If you say something like out of line, you know what I'm saying? Like something that I feel is out of line. Because you got to remember, those people that are starving and beating that kid, you you confront them on that, they're going to be pissed at you. That's why it takes character. That's why I talk about character a lot. Because character is what you do. Some You know, sometimes you got you to gotta be able to do that. You got to be able to burn a bridge or have somebody mad at you. They, they did all they could to help the boy. I really, really, really blame. I blame them because they did the physical stuff. But I blame the court system and everybody else that kept giving them back. 911 call show on June. That kept giving him back. That kept giving him back. 911 call show on June 28th. The night Martonio's body was found, Wilder called police to say her son was missing. Police say she became uncooperative. She and Lowe then fled with her other two sons, setting off an Amber Alert. Court records say the women originally pinned the murder on one of Wilder's other children, but later admitting to that being a lie. They, they said the other kid killed him. He blamed the murder on one of their other kids. Salute to Run Daz, man. Shout out to Run Daz, man. Long time no see, man. Run Daz said, ah, what can Gladys do to turn it around? You got to stop being afraid of being called a racist. That's the first thing. A lot of this can't be turned around, but what you can do is make small changes that may have a ripple effect. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're when you're when you're kowtowing and being amenable to some people, they just gonna step on your throat. They just gonna bully you. But by once you stand up for yourselves a little bit. Some people will usually become cowards when you stand up for yourself. So it's like just by standing up for yourself, like on burritos, like look at those as on burritos do. Look at the way the dynamic between sons and on burritos. It's completely different. I mean, you have street vendors get killed and people get robbed and stuff and killed by sons. Yes, sons kill people like that. But look at the dynamic between on burritos, gangs, and or burrito tough guys and sons. Sons always want to talk it out when it's on burritos. <laughs> uh, let's sit down and discuss this. Like, uh, let's have a, you know what I'm saying? They, they don't ever, they don't want to do that rah rah shit with on burritos because they know, because on burritos fundamentally stand up for themselves at every turn. So it's like, yeah. So it's like that could be the first thing, just not being afraid of being called a racist and just saying what's on your mind and not worrying about it and knowing that somebody's going to call you a racist, some white liberal's going to have a heart attack. Right. But no. don't worry about it. Yeah, no matter what you do, you're a racist. It's acceptable. Yeah, yeah exactly. You're going to be a racist regardless lie we have now learned a third person is indicted in this case that's mary johnson lowe's mother she is charged with obstructing justice a judge has said grandmother was in on it wilder's bond at two million dollars lowe's bond is set at 1.25 million dollars local for you at the franklin county courthouse i'm anna hoffman nbc4 We're learning new details.